Hey y'all, it's Cheryl Zandra. I'm not coming to you live. I wish I would do. I wish I was brave enough to do some live videos. I'm not doing a live video today, but one day I'll do a live video. But I'm coming to you from Raleigh's Middle School. And I'm coming so that I can be my authentic, authentic self. And you can see the real deal when it, like soon after it happens. But anyway, I am an advocate that you should protect your kids' peace before they go into a school. I'm an advocate of that. I need to do my, my gold gloss. I'm an advocate that my peace needs to be protected before I go into a school because when you go into a school any old kind of way, anything can happen, right? Like we don't know what kids are dealing with at home. We don't know what teachers are dealing with, right? And you want everybody to be in their best space. Look. Cedric gets up in the morning and cook breakfast for us. He'll make us bacon. He might he doesn't cook a whole breakfast, but he'll do some bacon in case they want to eat some cereal with it or in case they want to make some toast or whatever the case might be. And she left it in the house and I was like, Riley, are you taking your bacon? She came and got it. She didn't say a word and then she just left it in the car. But let me tell y'all what happened, what had happened. She's 13 now. And we've had a conversation about her attire. The what, what she wears to school, what shirts are appropriate for sports bras, what shirts are too big, what shirts should not be worn. There's this one particular shirt that stood out from the rest. <laughs> Poison as can be, no, seriously. There's this one particular shirt that she always wears like during the summertime and she used to try to wear it last year. But today she comes downstairs and it's a shirt that I think is supposed to go off the shoulder, but she'll pull it up so it slides down and it's kind of a little big and it's, it's kind of cropped. And she had on a sports bar with it. That might be the style during the summertime to wear a sports bra with another shirt. That's not appropriate for school, ever. So last night when I was in her room saying good night, giving them a kiss, we say prayers every night. That's a routine that we've had since they were born. We say prayers together every night. She had a different outfit and she said she changed it to wear it tomorrow. This traffic is slow. Anyway, um, I made her go change. I was like, you need to go change. And she has on a sweatshirt, thin, thin sweatshirt jacket. But you need to change because that shirt is not appropriate. And then because of that sports bra. But anyway, she then, um, she then like gets mouthy and is like, what do you want me to, if I wear a different bra, my boobs gonna be hanging out or something, she says. And then, <laughs> y'all, I had to tell her, her freedom gonna be hanging um, around the house and she won't be going anywhere. She continued to have that tone with me. And if I tell her to change, she needed to change. So she sat in the back, she didn't sit in the front with me. She went and changed and put on a different shirt that I still don't think is appropriate because it's cropped. But hey, she get dress coded. Guess what? She get dress coded, but her boobs won't be hanging out and you can't see her sports bra anyway. So we were quiet all the way into school and um, I said to her, I am an advocate for protecting peace before anyone goes into the building. I get upset when Cedric is like going at him, going at him, going at him. But what I will not ever tolerate is a disrespectful tone. So she needed to get it together. We can disagree about an outfit, but what she can never be is disrespectful. So I asked her, how many times have I talked to you about that shirt? She said twice. It's been more than twice. But even if it had been twice, that's two times too many. So I told her I love her. She told me she loved me too, but she got out the car real quiet and she left her bacon. But pray that my angel have a good day because she needs to realize that 
I am going to be her mom. As soon as we act together, I'm going to be her mom. So, school essentials, y'all. Protecting the peace of your angels, but holding them accountable for being respectful. And check this out. I did um, a video about school essentials for Chats with Zandra. And that video will be uploaded Sunday on my YouTube channel. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Zandra Moten. The playlist is Chats with Zandra. You could also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Zandra Moten. And um, I look forward to um, chatting with you soon. Oh, you can also go to my website at www.ourspareyourjourney.com and at our Etsy shop, Our Square, to order yourself a bracelet, a book, or a bags and t-shirts will be uploaded soon. Bags and t-shirts will be uploaded soon. I need to put down my phone because I'm no longer in traffic, but check out this nice bracelet that I have to go with my green Jordans and my green shirt and I'll talk to you soon.